Welcome to Sippy Soft Switch Basic Configuration Video Tutorial. In this first video tutorial series, we will demonstrate how you can set up a Sippy Soft Switch for the first time. This introduction tutorial will teach you the general operation and how to configure the product on your own. By completing all modules of this tutorial, you will be able to route SIP VoIP calls from a customer to a vendor gateway. There are many advanced configuration options in your SIPI soft switch that we will not cover in this tutorial. The SIPI soft switch is a flexible platform that meets the needs and scenarios of many business models. When you have completed this tutorial, you may be interested in watching our more advanced tutorials available online. As you will follow SIPI video tutorials please do not forget also to refer to our SIPI soft switch handbook to get more details on the system element specs functionality and practical implementation guides. So, let's start with basic configuration training. Before configuring your soft switch we will introduce each video tutorial module of basic configuration process. To start configuring you need to log in the SIPI soft switch system. As a new SIPI customer you receive a welcome email, which contains the IP address and user credentials that you will use to log into your SIPI switch for the first time. The procedure of login is shown in the first module of the basic video tutorial. First thing you need to do for configuring the soft switch is to provide your credentials, namely to create or reset your login name and password as well as specify some key preferences of the interface such as language, base system currency and so on. This is done at My Preferences page of the soft. You can grant access so that your team members can also securely access your switch. We will show how to add new users, set credentials for them and provide different level of user access to the system in this module. Next module covers vendors section of SIPI soft switch. We will show how to add vendors and set up main vendor related parameters. We will also set up web access to the vendor portal which will allow the vendor to log in and view call detail records relevant to them only. The next step is to add connections for each vendor and set respective parameters for each connection. We will explain this in the connections video module. Next in the destination sets video we will explain how to add destination sets. A destination set represents the root list, or rate deck that your vendor offers to you. There are two fundamental parts of the destination set. The first is the root prefix, which is typically a country code and area code. The second is the monetary rate that your vendor will use to charge you for calls that you send to the respective prefix. Video tutorial module we will be adding routes to our destination sets and specifying basic parameters for the routes. In the routing groups video module we will explain how to tie together vendor connections and destination sets. We will also define the policy on how the system choose to route calls through the vendors in case of availability of several alternative routes. Previous video tutorial modules are devoted to main configurations related to vendors. In the modules starting from tariffs we will be configuring the system for our clients. First we will create the tariff sheet which has similar logic with creation of destination sets and routes. The distinction is that while the destination set specifies the pricing and other vendor related parameters of the routes, tariffs controls the price we charge to our clients and other call parameters set to control the client's calls. Wise we were adding and configuring the routes in the destination sets we will show how to add rates that are forming the tariff. We have created the tariff we need to create a service plan for our customers. Service plan sets certain rules and algorithms the system uses when applying tariffs. Finally. When we have all the settings described in previous video modules we are ready to establish an account or customer. Naturally the account needs all the settings we were showing in previous tutorial modules. Account is a single entity, or bucket, with converged CDRs, bills and consequent invoice actual caller for which we will set a name, 
password and login to enter the system. Also we will show how to configure certain parameters that rule the process of the accounts call and assign a service plan and a tariff from those service plans and tariffs we established when configuring the system. After having completed the basic configuration process you can learn how to make your first call with SoftPhone and continue learning more advanced topics of SIPI learning system.